categorical game tonight by the U.S. 6 0 against St. Kitts and Nevis. We're going to talk about it in more news about football. So stay tuned and let's get started. Let's go. So some of you may be wondering what I am doing on a different setup. Of course, I'm on vacation. A lot of you are going to find that out right now. But I had to speak about the game of the U.S. today. The U.S. men's national team won categorically 6-0, something you expect, you know, against this team. It was really easy. Pereira on fire, hat trick. I mean, there wasn't much that um, – it wasn't debatable. You know, the U.S. was going to win. I was actually a little bit, not concerned, but I was waiting for that goal as soon as the match started, really. I mean, you know, I know it sounds a little bit disrespectful for St. Kitts, but, I mean, it is such an inferior team in CONCACAF. So um, it was just basically how many goals were the U.S. going to win by. So, I mean, 6-0, it is what it is. You know, you can't really rise and, and, and get too much uh, on this game. You can't analyze it so much. You know, they came from a from a uh, categorical, I keep saying that word, but, you know, the, the, the game against Jamaica was definitely uh, something that, to look at, you know, to analyze and to understand it, and um, that it wasn't a good, a good game for the U.S. And everybody knew that, including the intro coach. And uh, they had to come in and actually beat this team. I don't think they were going to, you know, the analysis was going to change much from that game to this one because simply we play against a team that's very, very inferior. And uh, But there are good good things. Uh, there are good players that today just did what they had to do. And that's Ferreira scoring a hat trick. I'm concerned that it wasn't Sendeja's night because he literally tried to score and he couldn't buy one. I mean, that's just bottom line. But I like Lucio. I like Sands. I like uh, Mihailovic, I mean, he scored as well, and, and he did good. Jones, Neal, I think they did a good good game. Like I said, Miazga as well. But like I said, you can't really jo- uh, um, talk about the defense and the center backs, really, uh, and the whole defense, including the goalkeeper tonight that was Johnson instead of uh, the usual Matt Turner. And uh, so, I mean, it, it, this, this was a, a – there was a couple changes that I don't think really – there's much to go on here. Roldan that I actually asked for didn't play, or he came in the second half, but he didn't he didn't start like I wanted him. Senor as well, he didn't start. Vasquez didn't start as well, and I wanted to see him. Uh, you know, I know this was an inferior team, but I really wanted to to, to reward Vasquez for playing a terrific game and really, you know, helping the U.S. get a point in that first match against Jamaica because it was looking like we were going to lose it. So that that's basically. You know, what I wanted to see, you know, some opportunity for some new players. Tolkien didn't get to play. He played against Jamaica, and uh, he didn't play good at all. The Morrises as well. And uh, other than that, there's nothing. One of the Morrises came in, but not the other one. But really, not, not, not much to analyze. So I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section down below and what you think this match means for the U.S. and uh, if, it, if it means anything. The next match is going to be next Sunday, July 2nd. If I'm not mistaken, um, and that's going to be the, um, against Trinidad and Tobago again. Not a team that we would that you can analyze much, but it's definitely better than St. Kitts. So um, I believe that's that's when the next match is going to be played. But I have to just verify real quick in order uh, to, to to say. And but uh, moving on to some other news real quick. And, um, you know, some things that are happening in the football world. Of course, we have to talk about the U.S. men's national team. However, there are some other news. Uh, Declan Rice still, they haven't, you know, responded about that offer. A really record-breaking offer for Arsenal and in the Premier League, actually. So, 105 million pounds altogether, 100 up front and 5 million in add-ons. What I have heard from sources is that uh, West Ham is willing to do it, but they haven't. They don't really agree with the terms and how they're going to be paid. So 
that's just a rumor out there. But that's nothing confirmed. It is on our social media. However, uh, we don't know yet, but um, it's looking like it's going to get done. Our Teta definitely went out there and told them, listen, I want this done. I want Declan Rice in Arsenal uniform ASAP. Also, Havertz was confirmed today, and he was, you know, recording videos and taking pictures with Arsenal's jersey, and he is confirmed as a gunner uh, this season. As far as other news, really, not much going on, of course. Uh, Inter Miami, if you're an MLS fan, Martin Martinez is going to be the coach for Lionel Messi and Inter Miami uh, as well, so that's another thing. But other than that, really, oh, Harry Kane, Harry Kane is, has got an offer. Tottenham has an offer from Bayern Munich, and it wasn't enough for what Tottenham wants. So it's not enough. And uh, really, they're going to make it difficult for him to leave Tottenham, unfortunately. I don't know why, but it, they just make it difficult. And uh, at this point, he's just waiting for a better offer for from Bayern Munich. And he is willing to leave the Premier League, by the way. So um, we, we have to wait on that and see what, what happens. Other than that, we can go to Fabrizio Romano and real quick see what he's got as far as as far as news. I would like to give you all everything today. That way you stay up to date. Uh, David De Gea, by the way, tweeted something uh, like an emoji or something, meaning like he was probably on his way out or he was told something from Manchester United. By the way, Manchester United is still hopeful that they can get the deal done for Mount from Chelsea. So we'll see what happens. At this point, we haven't heard any new offer. It'll be like the fourth offer for Mount. Chelsea declined the third one. And uh, we told we were told that Manchester United was going to walk away, that they were going to look at Caicedo, but they're still hopeful to get Mount. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, other than that, really not much going on. By the way, Manchester United also is looking for another goalkeeper aside from Onana, which they really haven't done much when it comes to, uh, to, uh, to him either. You know, they haven't actually sent an official bid to Inter Milan for Onana. However, they still are looking for a second goalkeeper, meaning De Gea is more than likely going to leave Manchester United. Uh, MLS goalkeeper sounded for Manchester United as a second goalkeeper, so we'll see what happens about that. Other than that, at this point, there's not much going on in the football world. But then again, anything can happen at any moment. So if you like these videos, please consider subscribing down on the red button down below. Hit the bell for notifications. That way you don't miss out on any more news, updates, anything, live, match-alongs, anything uh, about football. And that's it. We don't have much else. I'm going to enjoy my weekend with my family, but I'll see you guys later.